The problem is when the capsule moves from an elliptical orbit to a parabolic orbit. There's no mathematical formula for that. Maybe we've been thinking about this all wrong. Maybe it's not new math at all. Could be old math. Something that looks at the problem numerically and not theoretically. Okay, so Hidden Figures is a great movie. It's not just a great mathematical movie, but for people like overcoming historical adversity. And this scene is kind of interesting because a theme that's pointed out in this scene is that uh, mathematics often is applied from one branch to the other in surprising ways. And I guess like a lot of people's favorite time that this happened or maybe favorite instance of this is uh, number theory of Euler from like the 1600s was applied to our RSA cryptography, wasn't, which wasn't even discovered until the 1970s. So we have like 400 odd years from a discovery of some mathematics to its application. That being said, uh, that's uh, Euler's number theory is not the Euler's method that they're talking about here. They're talking about a, a way to numerically solve a differential equation. And I think Euler's method is a really important topic to, to teach early in a differential equations class because it hits students with the fact that it's really easy to write down a differential equation that you can't exactly solve. And if you can't exactly solve it, you've got to numerically approximate it somehow. And that's what they're doing here is that they're numerically approximating a differential equation. Another thing is like there's a lot of Euler calculations by hand, which perhaps, you know, was necessary back in the day. But nowadays we can just perform like a million iterations of Euler's method in a split second on, you know, basic laptop computer. So maybe before you leave, make sure to post in the comments if you'd like me to react to anything else.